Hi there, my name is Vladimir Uspensky and today we'll take a look on this boogie woogie that I created especially for beginners. So if you are not a beginner, you can take a look on those videos. I will add playlists somewhere here and to the description also a playlist with more boogie woogie videos that I've already recorded before. There are right hands like five or six videos, left hands a couple of videos, take a look. Also to the description I will add a few channels that I'm really uh, like, that I really like and I'm enjoying. I found them doing this my channel and lear I'm learning from them and also like it, it's a kind of how music connects people because uh, I found them or they found me uh, with doing those YouTube channels. So I would be happy if you go there and also will be inspired by content of those guys. It's not because they asked me, no, just it would be my pleasure. So, and if you are a beginner, that this, this today's lesson tutorial is for you. So, before we start, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. I found that 90% of people who watch my videos haven't yet subscribed. Please change that. And let's go. We have this boogie woogie. Left hand this one, right hand this one. So right hand plays melody, left hand plays some bass notes. Yeah, left hand usually plays some bass or some accompaniment. It could be like this. some other, other different possibilities, but what we use is this line. So this is a line that we will use for the left hand, for this boogie woogie, for all our steps. And what do I mean by steps? This boogie woogie we play in key of C, that means that our first main note, first, first main sound, is this one, C, and we will count it as a first step. And that means that all others will be this one, second, third, etc. So if we want, for example, to find a fourth step, it will be this one, like this, one, two, three, four. And fifth step will be this one, one, two, three, four, five, yeah? So we will use those different steps and uh, this figure, move from one step to another and now the only thing that we need to understand is which steps we use and in which order yeah so let's take a look to this thing like like this I'll put a, those chords here so we will have the whole chord progression here on this paper it's our classical boogie woogie or classical blues chord progression that has those chords it's first then first again and first again and first again so this is the first part let's say here we will cut it that's the first part each chord goes during one bar so it's one bar another bar one more bar so there are four bars here we have four more bars. Let me show you like this. So it's fourth here, number four. One more of four, fourth. And then we go back to the first, like it was in the beginning. What I'm uh, writing here now, there, it's, there, there are steps, yeah? First step, then fourth step, first step again. And here we'll have fifth step, fifth step again and now first and first so that's 
very important thing to learn this harmony, this chord progression. And how we will learn it, we will do it like this. I will cut it here to the first part, I will cut it here to the second part, and finally I have these 12 bars in three parts, like this. Okay? So we have first part, we have second part, and we have third part. They are equal, each one is four bars, okay? So now we can look inside of this part and we see that there are four bars each and we can count this as a question and this as an answer. So it will be here again, question and answer and question and an answer. It's a very, very useful thing, me method to count this harmony. So let's take a look. I will play and I will show harmony here. So let's go like, like this. One, two, three, four, one. First, 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 fourth, fourth, first, first, fifth, fifth, first, first. So, that's it, 12 bars. Let's go one more time, I will play it here so you will see it better. The same figure and I will do it slower. One, two, three, four. No, so slower. One, two, three, four. So first bar, second bar, third bar, but the same step. Still first step. Now we go to fourth, fourth, and back to the first. Okay? And you see here, first. Now here, fifth, and here I play fifth. First, first, okay, first, fourth, fifth, that's it, and this thing you should have inside of your head, in your mind, okay, I will take it out, put it out, but I hope you will have it there, it's not so complicated, so now let's take a look on this figure, what I'm playing there, I play twice this step, the first one, then I go to this third, major third, but I go there through this note. So it sounds like this. One and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and... Then I play this, fifth, sixth and that's it. One and two and three and four Do it a little bit slower. One and two and three. Oh, sorry. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So I hope you get. It. Then you move the same uh, figure to our fourth step second part yeah do you know do you remember it so we had this and then this then we had this so now let's go to the fourth one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and now we go to the first one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and let's take a look one more time to this fourth play exactly the same figure like I was playing here but starting from this fourth so I have this yeah this thing I played I just played now I have this last part fifth the same figure we play it twice we go back to the first. Okay, so let's play the whole thing. Uh, now you should count those steps. So 
first, fourth, fifth. Please do it from your side. I'm playing both hands, but we now only think about this left hand. One, two, three, four. Let me do this left hand very slow and you will try to play with me, okay? So, one, two, three, four. You can train it even slower and much slower if you need that with your own metronome. And when you're good with this kind of metronome that goes to each beat like one, two, and three, and four, you can put, and when you go faster and faster with the, those tempo, tempos, so you can put your metronome to the, not to the, to, to each bar, uh, to each uh, four, to each quarter, but only to two, and to four, like this. One, two, three, four. Especially when you go up with the tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. want to play uh, as fast now or maybe never ever but when we play slower it, it's slow uh, it's still cool to have this kind of groove metronome on those on two and on four and also we can do accents together with those this metronome like one and two accent on two and then and three and four so another accent to four one and two and three and four listen In the end you don't do such big accents, yeah? Just a little bit, but doing those accents you a kind of imitating piano pl uh, drum player that do this on his snare with his brush brushes. So you don't have this drummer, but you have those accents. you get it. So you do this with a slow metronome, you do this very slow and you can add each day you add like one or two uh, points per minute, like two beats more or one beat more per minute. So you go in with a very uh, like very very slow, you go up up, and you in one week you have uh, this, you, you play the same figure and it's still cool for you to play it because you you were moving like very very slow so you played a bit faster like this and then you in one week more you played a little bit faster more then two more weeks three more weeks five more weeks two more months and you can play it with a speed that you would like to play it but you should start from this or from this So that's about our left hand. Let me play the whole thing slow and you will play together with me, okay? One, two, three, four. By the way, I have a video about this feeling 
when you learn music, when you feel your metronome as your friend that plays drums, that like your friend drummer and how to make this feeling. I will put this video somewhere here and to the description also. Take a look, please, if you're interested in that topic. So next will be our right hand, so melody. I hope everything is clear with the left hand. If something is not clear, please ask me in the comments and uh, I'll answer there or I'll make another video to answer your questions. I hope, I, sh I think it should be clear with the left hand. So, like, main points are to learn harmony, yeah, this, this and this, to have this chord progression in your mind, to learn figure, in our case is this one, and uh, to do it, to start it from very slow tempo. So then you just go on and make it automatic, automatically played by, by your left hand. So you can play it and here you can play whatever you want, some kind of melody. So the left hand goes by itself. So you should uh, separate your left hand and uh, make your mind, uh, force your mind to control it with a very uh, small part of itself. Like uh, you should pay attention 1% only to this left hand and for that you should play it for many, many, many days uh, going from very slow tempo. So that's it. Left hand is clear. Now right hand. What do we have here? The same harmony, the same chord progression, definitely, because we play not two different uh, pieces of music, it's the same thing. So we have the same steps here, first, then fourth, then first, then fifth. Like, let's play it like this right now. And then first. So first, fourth, first, fifth, first. The same that we had here. So, now let's take a look uh, on these figures that we, we, we already take a look to. We already know this figure, what figure we have here. This figure uh, is not one bar figure, it consists of two bars. So, the first part, the first bar will be this. One, two, three, four, one and two and three. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one and two and three. I don't count like this in my head when I'm playing something. Uh, in my head, I more have, have have some kind of uh, rhythm rhythm pattern, like some uh, beatbox or some percussion thing, like this. So I make those accents. For example, and if I do it slow, like or whatever you want, whatever you do better, and you, you can learn those. Uh, those uh, th there are a lot of variants. You can do try to do it as a beatbox. You can try just to help you using taka or taka ti or whatever. Uh, so that's there are no rules. Just do it. Finally, do it with groove. That's the main idea. Okay. So one, two, three, four. So that's the first bar of our figure for the right hand. So there is one more bar, the second one. So they are different. First is this, and the second starts. Not on the first uh, first beat, not one, but the second bar starts after one. What does it mean? That we count one inside of our head, like this. One, two, 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 two. one, and then start to play. One, two, two. it's one and one and two, 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 two. one and two, 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 two. Let's do it slow. One and two, 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 two. one and two, 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 two. one and two. One and two and three and four. And then 
for the last end we don't do anything so one and two and sorry one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and let's do it slow one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four that's it so now we do this together with the first bar so it, it goes like this one two three four that's it that's a figure if you need i will play it a little bit slower like one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, one. Mm. That's it. That's the rhythm, and it will. We will change steps. We will change notes, sounds, but the rhythm will go the same for the whole thing uh, in this boogie woogie student boogie woogie. So this is the first step. But what uh, do we do when we change this first step to the fourth? Uh, basically, we should move like this. But nobody do this. Why? Because then if we just move like this all of those sounds jumps here yeah you can do it if you want in, in the left hand we just did it but um, that's not always what you want to have uh, when you play melodies with all those jumps so i will not do this pim pim this jump i will do this it's much more complicated but it's much more interesting so what did i do with C major we had just first, third, fifth, that is a major chord, and then this first again. So it was very easy what we were playing. But with this fourth, first of all, we don't play this, we play an inversion. So we find we, we take these three, and now we we also add this fifth, but not counted it here. First, second, third. Uh, fourth or fourth doesn't matter fifth we don't take this fifth we take this fifth we count it like this first seventh sixth fifth so we play this but <laughs> no we don't play this instead of playing first we play this seventh why we do this because that's that's a much more boogie woogie chord and we can use this addition step and play this seventh chord for boogie woogie it's perfect it fits perfect also we can use sixth step also it fits perfect for the first uh, step we also could play this the seventh of first step this step but we we just we, we just chosen another way around. so and for the fourth for this one we play this seventh this step so we we had this before here yeah? this f and now we change this to this we still have f but this f we keep in our mind we will play it here in the left hand so we think that it's here but we don't play it and also we don't do this one it's a third of f yeah one two three it's a third of f very important uh, step but we don't do this also we change it like this to this one so it's ninth step it, we, we can count it as a second step because here is the first second or better to count is it as a ninth step nona in classical music so we play these two steps but we don't play it so high we play we put it here both of them so finally what we have is this chord it's still F, but it's very, very 
different from F major. This is F major, this is still F major, and this is F7, and this is F7-9. So what we play is this one, and we do the same figure that we did before, like this. One, two, three, four, so absolutely the same before we were doing this. Mm. Now we do this. Mm. We changed only have changed only one sound, and that's it. So we do the same figure uh, and count it as a fourth step. here I just moved it here so you will see it uh, better but yeah in the end you, I prefer to play it here so that's it we've got already four and the second four now What's missed is this last part, yeah? fifth and first again. So with the fifth we do the same, but we don't go up. We go don't go down. We find something in the middle. How we do it? Let's find this fifth. It's this one, yeah. In this case we don't use seventh chord. We just use this major chord. But we play this D here. So it's an inversion. And we also add one more B here. It's still G, like this. G, B, D. But we choose those notes. So we were playing this, yeah, that was C major. And now we play this. And this is G major, fifth step. So we do this. Mm. Absolutely the same rhythm, the same figure, but different notes. Mm. Let's play it together in slow and from here. Yeah, so should be this. Yeah, one, two, three, four, tack, tick, four, one, one, and one, one, and three, four, one. That's it. Now we just need to combine everything. Yeah, the last two bars will be the same like we were playing before. Mm. Nothing, no news, let's say. So let's play the whole thing slow and a few times different tempos. Let's do it. You can play with me now. Try, find your tempo and play with me, please. One, two, three, four. show you the same but slower and you play with me again one two three four do like this I will play only left hand so you right hand is from you yeah you play it and then I cho cho change I will play right hand and you will play only left hand and then the third one I will uh, go from this hand to another one there here there here and you will try to play uh, the hand that I'm not playing so we together we will do the whole thing okay 
So let's start from this. You play now right hand, this. Mm. Okay, but slower. Okay, one, two, three, four. left hand. Okay, so I hope you got something from these exercises. Uh, that's it. So we have both hands, we have all those chords, we have all these rhythmics. So now let me just play in three different tempos, this boogie boogie, like fast, middle and slow, and you can play with me uh, both hands and we'll finish. That's it. One, two, three, four. I think we just finished so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it if you need more information you will find in the description if you have some questions about left hand right hand please write those questions in comments and I will try to answer them have a nice day or evening or morning or night and uh, we'll see you tomorrow because I'm doing those videos every every day. See you tomorrow.